This is the continuation of the names of Jesus. Son. And the scripture is 1 Corinthians 15, 28. Then, when all things are under his authority, the Son will put himself under God's authority, so that God, who gave his Son authority over all things, will be utterly supreme over everything, everywhere. God sent his Son, And the scripture is Galatians 4, 4 to 7. But when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law, so that he could adopt us as his very own children. And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are his child, God has made you his heir. His son has been made the perfect high priest forever. The scripture is Hebrews seven twenty eight. The law appointed high priests who were limited by human weakness. But after the law was given, God appointed his son with an oath, and his son has been made the perfect high priest forever. Son of God. The scripture is Hebrews 10, 2930. Just think how much worse the punishment will be for those who have trampled on the Son of God and have treated the blood of the covenant which made us holy, as if it were common and unholy, and have insulted and disdained the Holy Spirit who brings God's mercy to us. For we know the one who said, I will take revenge, I will pay them back. He also said, the Lord will judge his own people. Son. And the scripture is 1 John 2, 23. Anyone who denies the Son doesn't have the Father either, but anyone who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Jesus is the Son of God, and the scripture is 1 John 5, 5. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Please go to part 5 to finish out the rest of the episode.